People often have pictures taken to keep themselves in memory. Listeners to Voice of Korea also face the camera. We made a photo album under the title Listeners to Voice of Korea. Let's open the photo album to see the listeners in pictures. These are Lana Vusona Philip of Madagascar and members of his listeners club. Lana Vusona Philip started listening to Voice of Korea in 1959 or 1970. He presented plants he cultivated all his life to the great leader Kim Il sung on April 15, 1969 or 1980. He built the Kim Il sung bookshop in Anjirabe and let his children and students study the Juche idea on a regular basis. This is Huang Qin of China. Listening to Voice of Korea from Juche 70 or 1981, he wrote several poems praising the exploits of Kim Il-sung. Pong Chiang is a Chinese listener. He has been listening to Voice of Korea since Juche 75 or 1986. He wrote articles including one titled Great Defender of Korea, praising the exploits of the peerlessly great men of Korea and supporting the just cause of the Korean people. These are the regular listener Jun Komuro of Japan and his grandmother. They always study hard works of the great leaders Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. Some listeners organized a listeners club called Group of Regular Listeners to Radio Pyongyang. This is Nicolas Cosio Sierra of Cuba. He started listening to Voice of Career in 1987 or 1998 and wrote many articles including those entitled Great Leader Kim Il-sung and Immortal Exploits of Great Men. These are the Russian Tatiana Moroz and her son. She listened to Voice of Korea from 1993 or 2004 and wrote a number of articles including Great Achievements and Personality of Comrade Kim Il-sung. This is Veselkov Alexei of Russia, listening to Voice of Korea from 1991 or 2002. He wrote many articles including Brilliant Achievements Made in the Korean Youth Movement. This is Hervé Duval of France. He started listening to Voice of Korea in 1976 or 1987. These are Langbre Jang Marie, Christian Canoeng, and Glambule Whiskey Marie Lenneur of France. They listened to Voice of Korea from 1982 or 1993 and visited the DPRK three times. This is Arnulf Piontek of Germany. He has been listening to Voice of Korea since 1967 or 1978. He sends us congratulatory letters on the both anniversaries of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il and different other national days of Korea every year. Andreas Niederdepe of Germany, a regular listener to Voice of Korea, is the closest friend of Arnulf Piontek.
This is Christian Henke of Germany. Listening to Voice of Korea for scores of years, he has sent us many letters of solidarity, actively supporting the just cause of the Korean people on the occasion of national holidays and anniversaries of the DPRK. We have seen the listeners to Voice of Korea in pictures. They have different ages, jobs and residences, but they ardently adhere to the immortal Juche idea and love the justice and peace. We hope that more and more listeners to Voice of Korea would be put on our photo album in the future.